Hi, this is John from Apollo Sprayers. Today we're going to reassemble the 5000 series spray gun. We've got two guns here. I've got the 5011, which is the one quart version of the 5000 gun, and I have our 5020, which is the eight ounce airbrush version. Both guns are identical, uh, so the only difference in the cleaning and, and reassembly is the uh, cup assembly. So let's get started. Now that we've disassembled and cleaned the 5000 series spray gun, it's time to put it back together again. So the first thing we're going to do is assemble the gun body itself. Uh, so the, the first thing I like to do is start with the front of the gun and work my way back. So we're going to start by inserting the nozzle. Make sure you have the black gasket on the back of the nozzle and that it's intact. So screw that on and then using the wrench with the angled, angled end of the wrench for the 5000 series gun, just snug that up. It does not need to be tight. Then uh, put your spring back in. It doesn't matter which way it goes. Then the plate, the air distributor plate now, you'll notice it has uh, little nipples on the top of it and indentations on the bottom. And then it has a little um, nipple at the top here and at the bottom, so 6 and 12 o'clock and then the, the nipple. So you want the, the two uh, indentations, or I should say the two um, location grooves to be at the top of the plate and the bottom so that they locate into the grooves on the, on the housing itself and you want these nipples to be up facing upwards so that they glide onto the uh, air cap when we put that in place. So just put that in place just like that and hold it with your finger. Then take your air cap and push that down and hold it down with your finger too. Notice I'm holding the whole assembly together. Then take your ring, push your index finger through the ring, hold the air cap down, and then spin the ring on while you're holding the air cap down. That's the easiest way to do it. If you don't do that, sometimes what can happen is that the uh, spring will pop the plate back up, it'll turn, and then you won't be able to put the ring all the way down again. So you just want to check that. It's that split, the plate and the ring, and the spring, sorry, that uh, cause this clicking design and the rotatable air cap. So now that we've uh, put together the air cap assembly, let's go ahead and slide the, uh, put the gland nut back in first. So that goes in front of the trigger. And that's basically the nut that push the, um, puts the pressure on the seal, which uh, allows the needle to slide through it, right through here, and uh, keeps that from having material leaking out through the back. So take the needle, slide it through the gun from the back, then insert your needle return spring, and finally the material adjustment knob. And then before we screw the knob all the way down, we want to make sure we have some nice play in here, and we're going to adjust that seal. So what I do is I use, a, use my thumb, and what we're going to do, we're going to tighten the nut all the way up with the wrench, and I'm using the wrench with the other side, not the angled side for the nozzle, but the other side. And I'm going to do that up until it's so tight that the, that the trigger almost binds. So you can see here it's really not coming forward very quickly at all. And that's about as far as you need to go. So then what I'm going to do is back it off about an eighth of a turn, like that, a little bit more. So the idea is that you find the, the happy spot. There we go. So you want the nut to be tight enough to where you don't have material leaking out from the needle, but you want the nut to be loose enough to where the needle slides freely through it. So that's, what, that's how we've got this now. And that should be real nice. Sometimes it's really nice if you want to put a, a, a drop of oil on the needle here where it slides through that seal. You can also put a drop of oil on the threads for your air cap ring here. And then finally, uh, a drop of oil on the threads on the material adjustment screw here as well. So then uh, last thing on the gun assembly is we want to reinsert our air feed connector. So just put that into the side of the spray gun and tighten that up with the quarter inch wrench. Don't do it too tight. Make sure it's just snug because you don't want to break that off in the gun. There you go. And the next thing then is to go ahead and put the cup assembly back on the spray gun. So I have my cup assembly here. I'm just going to tighten that up and then I'm put the material connector onto the, the nut and thread that up so that it's just finger tight. Then I'm going to want to turn my air connector. So this is where the air is going to connect into the gun right here. And we want that to be located on the side, on your left side of the spray gun, if you're holding the gun from the back. And you want that to be at about 7 o'clock. So something like that. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but uh, about 7 o'clock over here on that side. And then take your adjustable wrench 
and tighten that back up. And that'll keep the air food tube out of the way of your fingers then. So again, remember when you're installing the valve to make sure that the cone end of the valve goes towards the cup and the flat end of the valve goes towards the gun. So we're gonna take the side with the flat end and just push it on the air feed connector. Now what I've found too is I only push it on about the first two barbs. That way it's really easy to pop it off myself uh, instead of having to cut it off when you want to remove it, which you'll have to do if you push it on all four of the barbs. So again, just push on two of the barbs up here and two of the barbs on the cup. And that should be enough to keep it intact under pressure and it will make it nice and easy for you to take it apart. And uh, that concludes the assembly instructions for the 5000 series spray gun. Thanks for watching.